Welcome all, this old man here, to take you through the first of at least four instructional videos on how I use the iClone to Lightwave workflow via 3D Exchange. What we'll be covering here in the iClone to Lightwave workflow is the export of an OBJ file from iClone, opening and importing an OBJ file in Lightwave, and saving the OBJ file as a Lightwave object, LWO. What you're going to require to have is iClone 5.5, 3D Exchange 5.5, and Lightwave 11.5, although I assume that it will work in 9.6 or higher. Right now, I want you to go to your desktop, create a folder, new folder, and name it IC as an iClone OBJ out. So we're going to go to iClone, going to go to Actor, G5 character, going to put Chuck there on the center stage. Chuck is all loaded. We're going to edit in 3D Exchange. 3D Exchange imports Chuck and a T-Pose. You'll see on the left the scene tree. You have the option of selecting certain things to export. So I'm going to take the grab knob thing and go all the way down to where it says motion library perform editor. We're going to delete all the performance so that's all clear. So now the next thing we do is simple as this. Go to the tab export OBJ. I'm going to change the file name from avatar to Chuck. Make sure it's the Y up and if your destination didn't default to the desktop, I see OBJ out, just hit the browse, find it, and then you can export it directly to that folder there. Now this step, you can actually go into layout and open or import the OBJ file there, but I found that I haven't had much consistent success doing it that way, so I bring it into Modeler. So I go to Load Object, it defaults to my iClone OBJ Out folder. I'm going to load the Chuck object. It's going to say that it can't find the surface normals, it can't find the images, the image maps that are applied to the mesh. So I want to say yes, I want to select an alternate file. It's going to look for M Normal Up. So we're going to look for M Normal Up. So we'll select that and it's going to find the rest of the surfaces materials according to it. We're going to zoom out here so we can see the full mesh. Zoom back in just a bit and there Chuck is. So now we're going to go ahead and save object as and when we save it as it's going to save it as a light wave object. So we have Chuck OBJ when we save Chuck it's going to save it as a LWO, light wave object. So in the same folder, I see object out, just hit save, that's it. So we're going to go ahead and now send the object to layout. First thing you'll notice is in our default setup, there Chuck is, but he looks pretty dark. And instead of it adjusting the light, which you might be tempted to do, which is what I was tempted to do, what you have to do is go into the surface editor and all these surfaces here need to be taken off of the vertex map. So the vertex normal map where it says Chuck normal, you got to select none. Why that is, I can only guess that it's trying to interpolate what iClone feels that the surface normal is and Lightwave is just not feeling it. So we're going to go to all of these surfaces and take off the vertex normal map and as we do this you can see that certain parts of the mesh is beginning to uh, look more like what we're used to using so with Chuck all normaled out now we're gonna go ahead and move the camera a little bit closer so we can see again do an F9 render and there Chuck is course all the things that we can do you can go into the uh, surface editor again and play with the specularity on some of the the skin items uh, but what we want to do 
if you're going to rig Chuck up, go ahead and save him out. Save object. And that's it. Just bring Chuck in the modeler. You can uh, go ahead and rig him with Skeletons and bring him back in the light wave and convert the Skeletons to bones and he'll be fully animated. So that's about it as far as exporting an OBJ file and importing it into Lightwave via 3D Exchange. The next instructional video will be going the other way around. We'll be taking a Lightwave object and exporting it as an OBJ, importing it into 3D Exchange and importing that or exporting that into iClone. So this old man is going to take his nap. We shall see you in the next instructional video.